my friends, MD Vegan. <laughs> I make a quick and easy soup today, bell pepper soup. And I made this soup twice before with a little bit more complicated recipe with more ingredients. And um, the longer I make my recipes here, the more I'm interested in the original flavors. So today I'm gonna to make it very simple. The easiest way to make a bell pepper soup with just bell pepper, Here I have one bell pepper, that's the first ingredient, one bell pepper. I just seeded it, yeah. plus a, cashew, a cup of cashews here. I found that is the appropriate amount to make it creamy. In my recent recipes I learned how many cashews I need for how, many, how much bell pepper, so the ratio is one cup and yeah, well, really, one, one bell pepper, medium big, medium large. And a teaspoon or a little bit more salt. This is Himalayan salt. It's my favorite salt because it's, it's loaded with minerals. It's many, many minerals. But because of these many minerals, <clears throat> it has a different flavor than the pure salt. If you get the pure salt from the, from the grocery shop, it's inexpensive. You have it sharper. This is not as salty, so if you have another kind of salt, you might use less salt. Yeah. But I guess with this salt, a good teaspoon might be the right amount. I can always adjust. That's how I begin. So three ingredients. It's very easy to understand the measurements here. Yeah. That's, a good, that's a good story about taking a small number of ingredients. You understand easily what's less, what has to be more, Add more cashews, less cashews, pretty obvious, all these things. Yeah. So measurements and numbers of ingredients are crucially connected. So water, one cup. I begin with one cup. I can always add. I have to make a second blending anyway. And because first I break it down and then I add a little bit more. Maybe blender dance. So this is the first blending, that means breaking down the cashews mainly. The cashews have not been soaked. If you don't have a power blender, you have a regular blender for 100 bucks or so, 50 bucks, then you would soak the cashews ahead of time, maybe come some hours or a night maybe, and then you drain and rinse them and you do the blending as in the same way as I did. But I uh, can do a second blending instead, I save the time for soaking. So that's the first blending. The second blending will take a little, uh, place a little bit later, some minutes. And um, meanwhile, I have the chance to taste. Uh, that's most important. Ah, I have already the fragrance of the fresh paprika, the bell pepper. Ah, it's very good. It's a fruit. Bell pepper is a fruit. The seeds bearing part of a plant. And um, so it has some sweetness, but also some bitter paprika, bell pepper, uh, freshness, yeah, this freshness what we know we like the bell pepper for, this beautiful um, crunchy <laughs> uh, freshness they, 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 you can already see, yeah, this beautiful shape. Let me taste it. Mm. Oh wow, oh yeah, that's, that's very nice. I don't need to add anything, I guess. It's the perfect amount of salt, the perfect amount of cashews, and the perfect amount of bell pepper. Wow. <clears throat> but I have to blend it one more time. The flavors are now still really a little bit um, apart from each other. That's because if you have not perfectly smoothness, yeah, if it is a little bit under blended, so to say, the flavor also falls apart a little bit. You blend it creamier. And that's why I highly recommend when you make soups to get a power blender. You can do, make it without a power blender when you soak the cashews ahead of time. But then still, you will never have the same results uh, 
than with a power blender. They make so nice creamy soups. Um, well, especially for, for vegetable soups, um, the power blender makes such a difference. I had years, more for years and years, I had a regular blender because I before I went and got this one, this is a very good one. Um, I, I, I had no idea about what veggie soups are, could taste like. Yeah, Usually you have to cook the veggies to get it really soft and they have the wonderful soup then. I love these soups. And um, But when you have the power blender, you don't need to cook anymore. It makes it so nice and creamy and you have a better flavor even because you can even when you blend it long enough you can get a boiling soup you can blend it as long as you want and it gets warmer and warmer yeah. but I don't want to make that very hot now that's not I don't want that now I much I want to have it creamy so I blend one more time to get the desired creaminess and the rounded flavor blender dance number two I was dancing on and thinking oh, maybe I should blend a little bit longer to make it warmer, <laughs> but I don't want to. It's not now. But you could you could try that. Yeah. But now I want to see if it's the right uh, flavor and the right texture and everything. Let's see. Yeah, flavor looks, texture looks nice. Yeah, it's it's runny and I like like runny soups. That's what soups look, should be like, not too thick. <laughs> Let's see. Mm. Oh yeah, you really taste the bell pepper, red bell pepper. I assume you could make also, also other kinds of bell pepper soup. I have a yellow bell pepper soup, you can also do that. Let's see where the journey goes. For now, I'm just happy to have a, tried now the simplest uh, of bell pepper soups here. You see the creaminess, it's perfect soup texture. It will thicken up a little bit because of the cashews, but that's right enough, right, right, right okay. It's exactly what I want. You see, beautiful color. And the other recipes, you can also find them. Just look for bell pepper soup on MD Vegan on YouTube. You go to YouTube, and there's a search line. You punch in MD Vegan bell pepper soup. You find two other recipes. Now with this is three, I guess. They have different um, red bell peppers. They have different recipes. Um, this is the easiest one so far, and um, I'm very happy I tried it. Yeah. You just have the bell pepper flavor, the pure bell pepper flavor, and the cashew add the creaminess. <clears throat> yeah, I need the creaminess, and the salt makes everything tastier. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you like, like my video, subscribe to MD Legal on YouTube, have another recipe every single day, and find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter.